Today we're at ACAD's Motion Capture Studio where Brent Haley is going to show us the basics of wireless virtual reality. Let's check it out. Hi Brent. Hi Chris. So how do we get started on our uh, path to virtual reality? So today for the virtual reality project, we're using the Motion Capture Studio to track a hat as it moves through space. And the way that works is that the 14 cameras around the top of the room are going to look and create two-dimensional images that only really see these reflective uh, balls. This is my uh, ticket to my new world. ACAD is a research center for graduate students and faculty who are interested in the areas of technology and the arts, specifically computer graphics and animation. ACAD as a center is funded by the College of the Arts at the university, but the College of the Arts has been very gracious in offering the uh, students, the graduate students at the whole university, the ability to come and study here and work on research projects. Depending on what their interests are and how technology relates to what it is they're making and they're doing as artists and as scientists. The idea behind ACAD came from computer graphics pioneer Charles Surrey, who's an emeritus professor now at Ohio State. And a long time ago, in the late 60s and early 70s, he realized that computer graphics could only exist if artists and scientists collaborated. So we continue that tradition here with artists and scientists working together. And ACAD is really one of the few places in the world where we can say that artists and scientists work under the same roof together. And we believe that our work only exists and is as good as it is because we have that collaboration. So we've been making 3D animation for a long time and many of our uh, alumni are working in the feature animation business out in Hollywood. But we also stretch our uh, muscles and move into what we call physical computing, which is really looking at the way technology can create new kinds of interfaces for people. We're interested in stereo graphics. We're working in uh, motion capture, which means we're putting markers on people and tracking where their motion is. Wireless VR means wireless virtual reality. And we wanted to use our very expensive motion capture system by adapting very inexpensive equipment to be able to actually walk around in virtual environments. So for about $1,000, we put together um, some hardware and we wrote the software that allows you to go into virtual models and walk around in real scale and examine and experience these places. So we've built a model of the Sistine Chapel that's, that you can visit in real scale and get a sense of what it's like to be inside the Sistine Chapel and it's all based on what we know are the architectural uh, measurements of the chapel as well as what's inside the chapel. So Brent, what are some real world applications for motion capture such as this? Well, I think the most direct example would be we had uh, some people come in from an architecture firm. They had designed an environment to preview it so that they could see what it would look like inside of three-dimensional space ahead of time um, and before actually going ahead and building a model of it. The graphics industry just keeps growing and it's amazing. Students now can pretty much make their own jobs in the graphic industry. Lots of our students go and work in films, but the gaming industry is even bigger than the film industry is, and also students can be independent animators and filmmakers. And everywhere we go, we see graphics now. We see it every night on television, we see it at the movies, we see it when we're on the web and just looking for information, but graphics help us to understand complex information. And it's, it's everywhere, and we're beginning to be able to read that just as well as we read books. After the break, using theater to bring awareness to relationship abuse.